one of the aims of this new series that we're having in the Respirology Journal is giving people some idea of how we can use lung function measurements to greater advantage in a whole range of different lung diseases. So from asthma in adults to cystic fibrosis in children, through the HIV uh, and interstitial lung disease. And really what we're asking each of our um, authors for each of these series is to really look at what is the pathophysiology of that particular lung disease, what are the tests that can tell us something about that pathophysiology, and then where are we with those tests so that are they ready for clinic, are we already using them in clinic but perhaps not using them to the best of their advantage, and if they're not already in clinic, where are we and can we, what are the next steps to bring them to clinic as soon as possible. And what we're really hoping is that this will give uh, both primary care physicians, specialists, paediatricians, or just general researchers an idea about where we are with these different tests and how physiology can help us look after our patients with lung disease better. So one of the other things that we've asked our authors to do is to really come up with a case. So from their clinics, do they have a case that shows how these tests that they're talking about in their review have been used in an individual patient in their clinic. And so what we're going to do is when the review is posted in Respirology, there will also be a link to Respirology case reports. And so readers will be able to go and see a real live case about how these lung function tests can help an individual patient. If you can, if you can all the way in. Last out. <coughs> Good. What we really hope for this series in respirology is that specialists, respiratory specialists, uh, researchers in paediatric or adult respiratory physiology or, or other respiratory fields will look to this series as a way of really what are the next research questions that we need to address uh, and that this will stimulate the next uh, a cascade of projects that will really give us for the next two, three, five, ten years uh, the research answers that we need so that these tests can start to become standard clinical practice uh, both nationally and internationally. And so what we're really looking at is what tests do we have available, are they ready for clinic, can they tell us about whether we can manage individual patients and if they're not quite at that stage then we can also be providing some uh, information to researchers about well these are the studies that we need you to do so that we can bring these tests into the clinics.